Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. This is Krakow298 and today we're going over how to modify Minecraft 3DS BLang files, which are the language files that have the text in them which you can modify from there. This is, does not include splashes um, whatsoever, so splashes.json and bjson are different files and they do not accept editing whatsoever. So here we go. First, what you're going to want to do is either go to github.com slash stbbrian, and that's not supposed to be open. Uh, you want to go over here to blang editor and click code and download the zip file. This right here will help you modify blang, or you can go over to my web page right here, and this is the tool I'll be covering. It uses the same module that STB Brian has made and developed for his original tool, but it speeds up the process. So here we go. So what we are going to do is type in mass blang, right? And it's going to come up right here on the mass blang converter. You can download the entire thing right here, and it'll download the blang stuff's zip file. We're going to extract it, and a folder will come up right here. So this is the module right here, and these are the files. You want to d just double click one of them, and it will go ahead and give you an in and an out folder. So for this, we are going to need to dig around in the files. We're going to come over here, go, we're going to, I'm going to type in blocks.json. You need to get your own uh, files from your 3DS. They are not provided at any time, really. And so come over um, to just the extracted ROMFS folder. What you're going to want to do is go to LOC, copy all these files, and put them in the end folder. This will take all these files and convert them to a JSON file, which you can then edit in VS Code. So I'm just going to double click this. It's going to output all those images or output all those blang folders and convert them into JSON right here. I am English, so I'm going to be um, doing these two files right here. So let's get started. We're going to open up VS Code and get rid of that. Oops, that was for my last tutorial. And I'm just going to close all the stuff that I really don't need right now going to the out right here this gives us a lot of information what we can do is control F and modify what we want so because um, we are doing Minecraft 3ds and I don't know the uh, stuff off the top of my head I'm gonna configure it and set the audio to null or zero I'm just gonna um, double click this and speed up the emulation tenfold right now so we get into the game a lot faster and then once it's done I'll go back to uh, 95 percent is fine so what we can do now is modify one of any of these obviously you can see that I've modified it before so let's go and search for skins because I want to modify skins. Now, it can only be this specific string. See how it says Education Edition Skins? That means that it's not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for that. I might be looking for that. Nope. 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 And maybe. So, how do you find out which is which? You can kind of use, um, right here, uh, different, uh, what do you call it? different context clues per se see how this says all diggy that would be a skin or right here that's a part of a skin and you can also see hawk maui so you can kind of see that this is the inside of the skins right here see how it says choose skins and all that so what i would do in this situation is modify both of them or only one and try it again because i and I'm not quite sure exactly. Oh, wow. Is it only that one? No, it's the third one. You can Tomente sound volume. Yeah, so it's probably this right here. 
this. So let's name this to I need help. We'll control S to save this. And because I only want that um, Great Britain file, or here, because I only want the Great Britain file, and because I only modified that Great Britain file, the English GB, they're both the same. So I'm going to control C, control V, copy this name, delete it, and paste the name into here. So now we have two identical copies. I'm going to copy these, go into the in folder, delete the original files, paste these in, and then do convert JSON to VLANG, and it'll convert them. And we'll go into the out, and we can now copy these. So if we copy, I'm going to stop this, go over to the mods folder, ROMFS, LOC, delete these, paste those, we're going to enter uh, Minecraft 3DS again. So we're going to configure, and I'm just going to unthrottle this right quick so we get to the home screen fast. As you can see, I was right with my assumption. It says I need help right here. And let me turn on my Xbox controls so then I can also control this a lot easier. See how it says I need help? You can do a lot with this, right? You can modify in-game text and in-game tools. For example, if we go back, I'm going to save this right quick. And it'll, down, it'll have it back in our original uh, at, it out folder. <laughs> And so here's what we'll do. We'll change diamond pickaxe, right? We'll change this to netherite. I'll close out of this. Copy that. Paste that. Delete these. Copy those, go to the out folder, paste them, and then convert JSON to BLANG. It'll convert them, and then we'll go ahead and try it again with our new mods. We'll go ahead and restart. The game is still unthrottled, by the way. So, now that we're in, we can see that we still have the text I need help even after replacing them. We'll go to play. We'll create a new world. And we'll make it creative so it's easier to get a diamond uh, pickaxe just to show you that it really works. I'll get my controller because it's easier to control with, like I said, a controller. We'll make this large too. As you can see right here, we will click the Y button, scroll over till we get to our tools. As we can see, it says netherite pickaxe, select, and in our hand, it'll also say it. Let me uh, throttle back the emulation speed because it seems like it's going a tad too fast. That's much better. Now we can see that it shows netherite pickaxe, and so we can go mining. If we really wanted to. And that was really just it. How to modify language files and text inside of Minecraft 3DS. If you guys liked this video, make sure to like it. If you didn't, well, then don't, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye